Hello, investing friends. Hello, investing friends. Zero people, zero people. Going anyway, going anyway. Hello, investing friends. Welcome into Investors Club. Got a great show for you. It's the one year anniversary of the citizens petition. Hooray! Woohoo! One year ago today, the stock of Cassava Sciences was well over $100. And then these shorts attacked with the citizens petition and lawsuits and a bunch of nonsense that has been pushed back for a year now. Ah, but this is the one year anniversary and aren't we happy? Yes, we are. Uh, Ta-da! So very great. Well, here we got that. We'll celebrate that. Uh, we'll take a look at Ovid. We talked about Ovid yesterday. I looked at the cash, not the cash and the short term equivalents cash and cash equivalents and other short-term investments, which is all basically cash. I looked at just the cash. We'll, we'll revisit over just to, just to put a, to cross that T. And uh, we'll look at JP Morgan is saying that, sh and they're a prime broker. They would know. They make all those fake shares. They would know. They are saying a lot of short covering to come. Is that what's going on? Is that why the market's getting better? Uh, a lot of sh for the next two or three months, should have about much more, they're saying. Anovis, a novus, a novus has dosed their first patient. We saw in case yesterday, dosed their first patient in Parkinson's disease phase two. Well, uh, A. Novus, not to be outdone, has dosed their first patient, probably just to, just to thwart case. They dosed their first patient in phase three. Uh, we will take a look. <clears throat> a. Novus, uh, we'll take a look at that. Uh, they're very interesting. Of course, they're, it's, their drug is being used in Alzheimer's disease. Now, par not, not, not now, Parkinson's, also Parkinson's, also some other things. Uh, but so they're going ahead with their, uh, they're starting their phase three in Parkinson's, dosed it. Uh, they've got that. And I think another phase, another phase three in Parkinson's as well. And then a phase two, three in Alzheimer's, I think. Anyway, we'll take a look at their patents. Patents. We've been saying that composition of matter is the strongest patent and very important in biotech. And that is true, and we will see why. We've got an excellent article written by a law firm. We will see why composition of matter is the best. However, method of treatment is also a viable patent, and we will see why. And so uh, they well, and A Novus has method of treatment patents. Uh, they have some issue they've got some uh, applied for. So we'll take a look. And uh, la 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 la. What else? We'll look at the Max Payne for cassava. Got a bunch of good stuff. Got a bunch of good stuff. Got a bunch of great stuff. Great show. Let's just get right into it. Not investment advisor. Not investment advice. Number one ranked stock analyst in the world. What we're doing here is the best research and analysis for you and me, the regular investor, because the financial media lies to us. But that's okay. It's the they lies to us because they're controlled by the hedge funds and the special interests. But that's okay. We've got each other. We've got investors club. Let's get right into it. Sign up for the newsletters, 42 people. Great to see you guys. Thanks for being here. 45 people. Great to see you guys. Uh, let's start off with, uh, let's get the uh, stocks. The stocks are looking good. The stocks are looking good. Cassava's up 10% on 1.37 million volume. Just pretty good volume. Yesterday, uh, right after 3 o'clock, Cassava took off on millions, a few million in volume. Why? I don't know. Cassava's now leading the league here, up uh, more than any other. Uh, and there's A Novus uh, up 6.78%, got a pop on the Parkinson's. There is right here, let's go back to August 24th. Here's August 27th, there's August 20th. So right there is where we used to be. Oh, sorry, let me move myself. We. So remember the good old days, we were up here in the citizens petition, but that's okay, that brought us together, didn't it? Brought us together. And we'll make it a good thing. So cassava up almost 10%. Terrific stuff. Let's get into the stories. Okay, so August 24th, 2021, after the market closed, it was revealed a citizen's petition was filed with the FDA. That began it all. Stock was stock closed at 117.83 in the after hours down to 87. We know it, it kept going. Uh, it was up, we were up until what 140 something. We were up the high, the high got up to 140 something. And then the attack. Okay. Okay. That brought us together. Here is Ovid. Uh, gosh, got to move myself again. Got to move myself again. Here's Ovid. Just want to look at the cash real quick. I was looking at the actual cash. Well, cash and cash equivalents like money markets, short-term investments like, I don't know, T-bills or notes or whatever. Uh, so that, that's all the same stuff. So anyway, this, this number here is what I should have been looking at. And they are burning. And so... 
They went in the, in the over the last four quarters. They went 200 million, 187 million, 166 million, 152 million, and then that's about their market cap. So they're being valued right right at cash. Okay, they do have. We, I looked at their uh, just real quick to, to peek over at cassava. Uh, their cash and cash equivalents, it's the same number. That, that, not some, for, for a lot of companies, it's the same number. So maybe that's, so I'm, I, maybe you, I'm to be forgiven for looking at, uh, for seeing the one number and not noticing the other. So just to show. Anyway, this, I just wanted to clear that up. And then uh, Ovid's, uh, finance, uh, Ovid's revenues is, so we said they had that partnership. Uh, over the last four quarters, last few quarters, they've gotten a, a one a million Ford, and so they're burning through cash a lot a lot quicker than they're getting than they're getting cash. And just wanted to point out their market cap's 150 million. They're being valued right at cash. Okay, just just wanted to just wanted to clear that up from yesterday. J P Morgan, this is Marco Cavallo, Kalonovic. Uh, alongside corporate buybacks, these strategies can provide steady inflows. He's talking about. Uh, systematic strategies and just the fact that we were in a bear market basically all the algorithms went everybody everybody went short but now he's saying uh, buybacks and short covering for the next can carry the, the the market for the next two or three months firm notes how lower market volatility can lead to inflows from systematic investors alongside corporate buybacks these strategies can provide steady inflows of several billion per day in equities for the next two to three months writes Marco Kalanovic, Chief Global Market Strategist at J.P. Morgan, in a note to investors, trend-following strategies that were largely short equities this year are covering shorts. He said two to three more months of this good stuff. Remember, they're a prime broker. They, 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 <laughs> they're the, <laughs> they create all these shares, so they would know <laughs> if, uh, if people are, are wanting shares or covering or whatever. All right, here is A. Novus. <clears throat> First patient dosed in phase three trial in early Parkinson's. Okay, so this is Buntanatap. This is their, also their Alzheimer's drug. So uh, good for them, uh, dosing their first patient in phase three. Good for them. They, they have a founder. Now, this company has a founder. They are in, they're, they're a biotech uh, with a, with is founder run. So we like that. They're in the U.S. That's good. Uh, there, it's, it seems to me, uh, their Alzheimer's data was originally celebrated by the market then perhaps not so much. Uh, it seems to me they're, they're sort of, I don't want to put, I don't want to say I know this, but it just seems to me that they're just sort of focusing more on Parkinson's now. And in, in, if you look at their presentation, uh, they are going La 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 la. I should have had this up. Sorry, at a different part up. Oh darn! I had a different different part up. But anyway, it looks like they're they're just focusing on Parkinson's first. Parkinson's. And they got thirty six million. Okay, blah blah blah. Okay, sorry. So anyway, it looks like that they're. I, I got. I, I don't have the, the part up where it says they're they're doing Parkinson's first. Just so it looks like they're they're focused on Parkinson's first. That's fine. That's great. And then when 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 we've talked about this company, we said now watch out their method of their composition of matter patent does uh, fall off pretty soon, like twenty twenty five, I think it was. But they've got sorry, now I've lost it again. There we go. They've got uh, these patents though. They've got uh, multiple patents granted for method of use for acute brain and nerve injuries. That wouldn't probably, I don't think, maybe it would. Nerve injuries and Parkinson's, maybe. Uh, method of use for neurodegenerative diseases. Obviously, that would be good. Uh, that one is only till is, is till twenty thirty one. But they've also got method of use pending and uh, method of use mechanism of action for prevention and treatment of diseases. So that one is it sounds pretty broad, and that one beats till twenty thirty eight. So they've got these method patents. Okay, so what is what is the value of these method patents? We we have said if you get our book. Uh, the guide to crushing the market, we say in biotechs, the strongest patents you can have are composition of matter. And that is true. And we will see that. Never, nevertheless, these method of treatment, uh, method of treatment patents uh, can be good. Method of use to treat. So method of use treatment. So I just want to say there's, there's method and treatment just as far as the language there. Uh, but so, that, so, now, so let's dive into this. This is from McDonald, Bainan, Holbert, and Berghoff. 
And so they're going to, they're going to, this is, this is, I, I, I really liked finding this. I know this might be a little bit technical, but this, the, to me, this is terrific information. It's held, I, I knew the composition of matter was the best. I didn't know why. This goes into why. And then it also shows, and it gives a lot of examples of how these method of treatments can be very good. Okay. So I, I really like, I, I don't know if you'll find this too technical, but I really like this. And I think we're going to be able to use this going forward. Okay. So drug repurposing. Now remember this drug was used already in ischemic stroke uh, uh, and, and some other things. And it was already brought, uh, and, and, it's, uh, or, and, it's, and it's, in, it's an anatiomer of a drug, a mirror, a chemical mirror of a drug that was brought for Alzheimer's. It looks like it's got a better, uh, it looks like it had a better profile than that drug. So it possibly could be, be good in Alzheimer's. I still think it could be. And now that, this, uh, now that the, the, its patents look stronger, who knows? Maybe this is pretty good. I don't know. Uh, I, frankly, I just don't know. <clears throat> but anyway, the, the, it, it, but I, the point I do want to make is that it looks like their uh, patents might be a little stronger than I was guessing because the composition of matter may not be the only ones that we might be able to rely on. Okay, so drug repurposing, and remember the repurposing this drug that was used in other things. Uh, commercialization of repurposed drugs has little chance for success without patent protection. Of course not. You need patent protection. That's why biotechs are so good. You get your barriers to entry, those in intellectual property barriers to entry. Investors are reluctant to pour capital into companies focused on repurposing drugs that are known chemical compounds for two main reasons. First, repurposed drugs are typically only patentable using method of treatment. Okay, so it was, uh, okay, so you get method of treatment rather than composition of matter. So some of the point is somebody else already had composition of matter. So you're repurposing it. If somebody else already brought it along, they already patented it or else they wouldn't have brought it along. So they've got the composition, but it's like, you know what? I'm going to use this for a different use. So you can only use it for that. So that, that's one reason why investors are reluctant to, to invest in companies that have just these patents. A second reason is method of treatment patents are less valued because they can potentially be more difficult to police for infringement and infringement can be harder to prove. And we'll see why. And that is true. Uh, yet... Contrary to the conventional wisdom that method of treatment patents are second tier to composition patents, companies are repurposing drugs, protecting them with method of treatment patents, and realizing significant successes for their efforts. Some of the world, and then they, so they've got some really good examples here. Some of the world's most successful drugs were not actually discovered, uh, were actually discovered through repurposing efforts and, and are or were at least originally protected by method of treatment patents. Minoxidil, which is Rogaine, was first developed as a vasodilator, but was repurposed to treat hair loss, got over 700 million before its patent expired in 96. Siden Sidenin Sidenophil, which is Viagra, originally developed to treat angina, repurposed for erect erectile dysfunction, over 2 billion before its patent expired in 2013. Atomexstein, also known as Stratera, in originally for Parkinson's, repurposed for ADHD, got over $855 million in just 2016. Rituximab was for cancer, repurposed for arthritis as Rituxin, $7 billion in 2014 alone. Dextromethorphan. We talked about dextromethorphan. I said they were trying dextromethorphan in RET, and I saw it in something else, like Alzheimer's. And I, and I said dextromethorphan is the psychedelic component of Robitussin. And I just thought it was interesting. They were trying this in, in all these different populations, just tripping these kids and tripping these demented old people. It's kind of strange. Well, the reason they're doing it is because some people made so much money off it already. Dextromethorphan, marketed as Noidexta by Avenir for the treatment of pseudo, pseudo bulbar of affect. Pseudo bulbar affect, that's where you're laughing or crying at the wrong times. And they trip you on, <laughs> on cough syrup <laughs> for, that, for that and made a bunch of money. Dextromethorphan is one of two active ingredients in Nudexta and also happens to be one of the primary ingredients of the age old cough suppressant Robitussin. Nudexta is protected by three method of treatment patents and has brought in hundreds of millions of dollars, leading Atsuka Holdings of Japan to purchase Avenir in 2014 for three and a half billion. Three and a half billion for repurposing Robitussin. 
So why are these companies successful when their IP is based on seemingly problematic method of treatment patents? First, consider the following limitations for method of treatment patents. One, they have a more limited claim scope than composition patents. Two, they can be more difficult to enforce an infringement action. And three, a patent is not a right to practice. This one seems a little complicated. The first one is they have a more limited claim scope than composition patents. Basically, the composition patent wins out if there's, if, if there's like a, a battle to the death. We'll, we'll, we'll get in more into the details. The second one, more difficult to enforce. We'll see about that. The third one's a little more uh, not as clear. A patent is not a right to practice, but only a right to exclude. As such, an enforceable composition patent on the repurposed drug itself can block the new method of treatment patent holder from practicing the method. Okay, that one is what I thought the first one was. That, that one, what they're saying is the composition matter, or composition matter wins out. So we'll, we'll see that. Okay, so let's go, it's gonna go through each of those three. So the first one, a method of treatment patent does not have the same scope as a composition patent on the same compound. And then, so they, so what does that mean? They explain it this way. Product claims covering the compound have always been the premium form of patent protection in the chemical industry. Uh, so composition of matter. A claim to the compound per se dominates every method of making that compound and every single use of that compound. Every single mixture of different components that includes that compound and every end use composition inclusive of that compound. Despite this, the more limited claim scope for method of treatment patent is not necessarily problematic. Frankly, I'd have to read that a couple more. That, that, I, I didn't digest that before. So the, what they're saying is it, it is a limited claim scope. So despite this, the more limited claim scope for method of treatment patent is not necessarily problematic. So it is a more limited claim scope. But as we saw, the one company made $7 billion in a year off of the, one of these patents. The primary use of the compound that matters is for the new treatment of the disease and a method of treatment patent protects precisely that. So even though you don't get all the peripheral stuff, you get what you need, the method of treatment for the disease. Okay. Second, unlike, so, so okay, so that was the first thing. The second thing is that it's not as enforceable. Second, unlike a patent on an apparatus or a compound, method claims consist of one or more steps to be performed. To impose liability for direct patent infringement, a plaintiff must prove that the defendants performed every step articulated in the claim. Suing patents for patent infringement is commercially unviable or untenable. Despite this limitation, there are options for method of treatment patent enforcement. You could sue the prescribing physician, the pharmacist who provided the repurposed drug in the appropriate dosage, or some other actor under a divided infringement theory so to sue other people. Despite these complexities in enforcement, method of treatment patents still effectively deter the most important would-be infringers, rival pharmaceutical companies as discussed below. Okay, so there's so they're, 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 their claims are not nearly as broad, but that's okay because you can claim what you need still. Uh, it's not as easy to enforce, but there's still some things you can do. And then third, a patent on the repurpose, this is where composition wins out over method of treatment. Third, a patent on the repurposed drug itself can block the method of treatment patent, patent holder from practicing the claimed method. Okay, so, uh, so the, 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 the composition of matter can block the method of treatment. However, even though a patent holder of the underlying composition of matter can prevent a patentee from practicing a method of treatment that uses the composition, this battle of the patents is a two-way street. Just as much as the composition patent holder can exclude the method of treatment patent holder from practicing their invention, the method of treatment patent holder can exclude the composition patent holder from using their compound for the new indication. So they, you, you have the composition of matter, but we got it on this particular non-obvious treatment, as we'll see, and so you have to stay out of that treatment. Method of treatment patents are not necessarily as limited as one might think. Rather, method of treatment patents also provide their own advantages, such as strategically carving out exclusive markets for the repurposed drug, providing tactical leverage in licensing, and potentially extending market exclusivity to keep competitors at bay. In addition, a new method of treatment patent can become more valuable the closer the underlying composition patent is to expiring, 
holders of aging composition of patents may be more willing to cross license or simply acquire the rights for a new method of treatment patent that can provide a new market for their drug or extend period of exclusivity. So they get, so your method of treatment patent, it's not all black and white. You have some bargaining, some leverage there, and you can, you can, you can uh, do some deal making. Further, method of treatment patents are effective barriers to entry of competitors and routinely held valid. Uh, one of many examples demonstrating their value is the litigation surrounding adomexetine in Eli, Eli Lilly versus Actavis, the Federal Circuit was presented an ANDA case involving a method of treatment patent between Lilly and seven generic manufacturers who had invalidated Lilly's patent in the district court for the District of New Jersey. The federal court reversed the district court, conclusively stating that the method of treatment patent was valid. The Lilly case teaches entrepreneurs and investors considering repurposing drugs two critical lessons. First and most importantly, that method of treatment patents can be enforced as an effective weapon against infringers. Second, advanced clinical research data are not necessary to obtain a valid method of treatment patent so long as specification discloses assertions of utility not contrary to generally accepted principles, and the claims are otherwise valid as novel, non-obvious, and enabled. In summary, method of treatment patents have a proven history of providing a commercially viable foundation for entrepreneurs to build companies or sell or license the intellectual property rights surrounding their repurposed drugs. Despite their perceived shortcomings, method of treatment patents, patents cover and protect exactly what makes them profitable, the market created by the new use of the known drug. Method of treatment patents are enforceable against key competitors and can be used to effectively block would-be infringers. Investors would be wise to invest in repurposed drugs protected by method of treatment patents, the benefits of establishing exclusive markets, tactical leverage and licensing, and the ability to extend market exclusivity make pursuing method of treatment patents worth the investment. All right, great article. I love learning that stuff. I hope you guys like that too. And then I also wanted to point out, uh, we said that Ovid was trading for cash. Now, uh, A. Novus is trading for three times cash or thereabouts. Their market cap is 94 million. And their cash is about 36 million. So they're, whatever, they're, they're like around three times cash or whatever. Uh, but just wanted to comp compare that. Now remember, Viru is like 1.3 billion and they've got 100 million in cash. So, and they're going out, they're in phase three for uh, breast cancer. So the market is, is believing a Novus, believing in a Novus a little bit and that it's trading above cash, but it's not believing in it a lot like Viru. And then if you look at uh, Ovid, it seems to not be believing in it at all, trading for just cash. As just, just, uh, just sort of observations, not trying to make anything conclusive there. Also, uh, uh, I've been contacted by A. Novus' lawyers in the past, so try to be very, try, try to be fair in the past as well, but try to be extremely fair. <laughs> not <try. laughs> so please don't sue me. Uh, and and Marcia, you are invited on. Well, once I get monetized here, I will invite you on uh, if you'd like to come tell us your story. With that, my investing friends, there's Cassava's Max Payne is 25 bucks. There was like 1,400 call options bought yesterday uh, in the afternoon that had something to do with the volume, but it didn't change the max pain. And with that, my investing friends, let us go to the phones. Click the links in the description and join the newsletters. Don't mind if I do. Click the links in the descriptions and join the newsletters. And click like if you would. You're going to like liking like. I'll tell you that. Hi, Joe. Hello, Keith and Suzanne. Great to see you guys again. We are glad to see clinical stage central nervous system biofarmers are up today. Green is an agreeable color. I couldn't agree more, my friends, my new friends. Great to see you. Yeah, we've got Cassava, A. Novus, Anavex is up. Uh, that's your stock, right? Up 3.4%. Galactin and DBVT and Immune. DBVT is not a, it's a biotech. It's not a CNS. Uh, same with collecting, but Immune is a CNS up 2.8%. Uh, 
Uh, Compass is going after depression. Sit, central nervous, 2.28%. Way to go, Compass. Good day, good day. Inhibit case up 1.45% after yesterday's really good day. A tie, another one, uh, another uh, uh, psilocybin one. Yeah, great day for great day for the good guys. Jake, great morning, Joe. Great morning, Joe. Great morning, Jake. Uh, never miss a show. Hello from Saskatoon. Hello from Saskatoon. Great to see you, Jake. Good morning, Joe. As always, thank you for all you do, my friend uh, Goose. Thank you for all, for being here. I really appreciate it, my friend. Thank you for the kind words. Ryan, Joe, you never gave me your opinion on ORMP. I am very interested in your opinion. Number one stockbroker in the world, and I know not financial advice. ORMP, let me come back to it, my friend. Let me come back to it. ORMP. Or we talked about it. Oramed. We, we talked about this one. Uh, I never did do a deep dive on it, though. So Oramed, that's the uh, oral insulin, which is, you know, nobody likes needles. That could be huge, uh, but I never did do a deep dive on it. I'll, I'll have to get back to you on a deep dive on it, my friend. Thank you for... Uh, Thank you for the question. Rainer, hi, Joe. Greetings from hot Germany. Maybe some hedge funds have woken up, studied the data, and increasingly changing the side. Hopefully. Could be, could be, could be the, all the short covering. There was the mountains, the mounds and mounds of shorting. Joe, Sky Guy, great to see you. Denny, good morning, Joe. Good morning, Denny. Good morning, Joe. Been following you for around a year now and trying to listen to every chance I can. Appreciate all you do. Thank you, my friend. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's so fun doing this with you guys. I miss it on the weekends and we're about to get monetized here and then we're going to step it up and do a lot more. So I can't wait. Can't wait. John, doo -doo -doo, I've lost track how many journals were cited about purportedly fake Sabadet and how many have now refuted these claims. What is still out there for ongoing journal investigations? Frankly, I'm not sure. We had four refutations in, in, in the last, and we recently, like a week ago, got uh, the Journal of what, the Neurobiology of Aging or something like that, said, no, 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 no funny business here. And then when they said that, they also said, by the way, this comes on the heels of three others saying no funny business. So that was four. Um, I think there, there, was, well, there was five or six total, I think, at one time. So there might be one or two more still to come in, I think. Good question. Speedbird, I'm usually working and in the background, but I have some time this AM and just wanted to thank you for continuing this format. You're the best. Uh, my pleasure, my friend. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you guys like the format. I do too. Uh, I love it. Uh, doing a little bit of news and then chatting. I think it's perfect. I love it. I love it. I'm glad you guys do too. Thank you. Bio. And yet DXM is the selling point of AXSM. Take a drug that already works. Well, butrin and added DXM, dextromethorphan hydrobromide to negate all the safety benefits of well butrin for marginally better efficacy, higher price tag. Is that right? Is a a AXCM, now that's, now that's major depression. I didn't realize that's a backdoor psychedelic. If, it, if, if, if Axome just did their major depression dis disorder, major depressive disorder study was, was up, what, uh, like 35% or something? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Am I thinking of the right, about the right company? I didn't know they were, they were dextromethorphan. Yeah, they were down at 22, then they popped. So yeah, make, make sure they hit the profile here, make sure this is the right one. Yeah. Major depressive disorder, that's the one. Are you telling me that they're using uh, dextromethorphan in theirs? That's a backdoor way to do a psychedelic treatment. I didn't know that. I didn't realize that. I missed that. Ah! Dextromethorphan has a similar chemical profile to ketamine. To ketamine. Ketamine is used in some of these. Depression. It's already approved in suicidal ideation. If somebody's in crisis for suicidal ideation, they have a nasal spray of ketamine that's approved as, a, as a, to be prescribed at that point. I didn't realize it. What an interesting thing. Thank you for that. What an interesting thing. Uh, and a better and a higher price tag. Thank you, Bio. I didn't realize that. That's very interesting. Sky, Jai, Sky Guy. Hi, Joe. Nobel Prize is a great thing. But I think, well, we wouldn't get the, you really, I guess, I guess we do deserve the Nobel Prize for Investors Club. Thank you. Well, thank you. 
<laughs> Nobel Prize is a great thing, but I think approval as soon as possible for cassava science. How many thousands of people will be diagnosed and die of Alzheimer's disease if we go through a full phase three? Ag agreed. If there's, uh, we, we did the math already. It, it, what, like a million Americans die every year or something. If six and a half million people, yeah, you have between like three and 11 years uh, from time of diagnosis to live, call that like seven or six and a half years, call it six and a half years just to make it the numbers work. If six and a half million people have Alzheimer's disease, that's a million people die every year unnecessarily. If, if there's a cure, a million Americans every year dying unnecessarily. Grr, grumble. Grumble. Yeah, that's the, uh, the un, unseen, lots of, there's a lot of unseen damage out there if we just did things better in our society. Rainer, we as Saba shareholders have gone through a horrible year, but looking forward to have a great year coming. Free Wang and Saba to the moon. Heck yes, I agree. It's, it's, uh, it's been a rough year, but uh, the pendulum's swinging back up. Uh, things are looking good. Things are, the, the, the drug looks like it's working. Uh, every, everything is, uh, the, the uh, f journals are clearing things. SUNY is doing an investigation. All those lawsuits, there's a dismissal hearing. Everything's looking good. Oh, for the dismissal hearing, I've been saying January 16th for the dismissal hearing, but in the comments on YouTube, somebody said, uh, that's Martin Luther King Day. And I looked and, oh, wait, that's right, it is Martin Luther King Day. Well, it's in Texas. Do they do, maybe they don't do it. No, they do Martin Luther King Day in Texas, including the government, including the courts. And I was like, huh. So I went back to look at the language. It's by January 16th. By January 16th. Uh, so that dismissal could come any time, really. Any time between now and January 13th, I think, is the Friday before that. So. Do, 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 do. Citizen petition was not how shorts started it. They tested the waters with a tweet from Adam Furstein in late July. So I guess that's when we were at 146. After which he went on a sabbatical. That tweet caused some damage, but share price recovered quickly. I remember that. He did his little thing and then ran. I remember that. Uh, Quezzy, Joe, always happy to see you, Joe. Always happy to see you, Quezzy, my friend. Took a position in IKT, and you've been rewarded well, my friend. That's two, two, uh, two updates for you. I like Milton Werner, so do I. He is intelligent. I believe in what they are trying to achieve. Might take a while, though. Yep, it's, it's, an, it's an early stage one. I believe in him, too. You got a good jockey there. Uh, Loke, Savage for Life. Congratulations. I hope you make a lot of money. I'm glad you got two good updates, my friend. Viru Insiders sold. I think I saw that a director sold. Yeah. Ryan, thanks. Uh, and, and Viru, I, I suppose they'll have to probably raise a little bit of money. Uh, thank you. Yeah, for, for Ormed, Ryan, yeah, I'll, I'll, look, I'll look into that one. That's, I have to do a deeper dive. Wakas, hi, Joe. Always good to see your show. Have never missed a single one. Oh, really? I'm so happy. Thank you, my friend. What's with the spike today? Any reason for the uh, 30 strikes or just speculation? In any case, seems like good days ahead. Perhaps it's the short covering. All of this carnage was artificial. It wasn't real buyers and sellers. It was it was shorting and shorting and, and 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 that. But this, if there's other shorts covering, even the shorts that want to stay short, if there's other shorts covering, they're going to start sweating. If there's other shorts covering now, other shorts other shorts are going to start to cover now. They don't you, you know, they don't want to be the last ones out. We could get a squeeze. This could be this this could be covering and. If, uh, if the other shorts realize, uh-oh, for the next two to three months, these guys are going to be covering, I better cover myself right now. We, we could get it. We could get this. This could snowball. Who knows? Who knows? Could snowball well. Great to see you guys. Uh, great. Uh, I, I, hope, I, hope you, I hope that uh, the technical stuff, I really like the technical stuff on the method of treatment patents. Now we know that. This biotech stuff, uh, very technical stuff, you got to know all the all the biology, and you got to know the finance and the stock side. Well, you got to know the legal side as well. You got to know the patent stuff. So that was a big one. I, I thought that article was terrific. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, uh, great to see you guys. Sign up for the newsletters. Uh, we got two terrific stocks coming for the small caps. The big dividends uh, are really doing well. This could be a really good dividend environment. It always is. A dividend, always, a, always a good environment just to buy and hold and collect dividends. Dividends. Uh, and you get, you'll get those videos before uh, released to you, a video on every stock in 140 uh, stocks in there uh, before they go to the public. So 
sign up for that stuff. You get the Discord as well. Great to see you guys. We'll do it again tomorrow. See you in the Discord. Have a great night. See you in the Discord.